from the mind that gave us a whole generation of spiky-haired protagonists with terrible fashion sins comes the sequel to the world's most anime take on pin collecting, but this time with about 50% less carpal tunnel syndrome. Neo, the world ends with you. Roam through fictional Tokyo once again, but this time in glorious 3D, as you relive your nostalgia for the digital Shibuya once more without having to huddle over your touchscreen furiously scribbling like a 15th century composer and furiously mash buttons instead because you still can't tell what's going on half the time through all the garbage on the screen. In a sequel that takes away the novelty that made Twa Wee unique but replaces it with game mechanics that don't make you want to stab the developers through the heart with a stylus. An oval is just a squished circle, Nomura! Cross into the Shibuya Underground and get sucked back into the Reaper's game this time in the considerably less brooding shoes of Rindo, as you follow him and his group of uncharacteristically fashionable teenagers, well for the most part, while they fight to escape history's hippest purgatory by beating up sentient tattoo art and facing some of the most unabashedly anime villains ever created, all while tying in as many cameos from the original cast as they can in a story that feels like it's deeply faithful to the original and that tells everyone who hasn't played it to go f*** themselves. Which is probably a good gamble because if you're buying a game called Neo The World Ends With You, you absolutely know what you're getting yourself into. Explore the colorful overworld of Neo as you traverse the busy streets and alleys of Tokyo in search of the next dumb riddle to waste your time on as you complete the numerous arbitrary challenges that block your path in traditional Toy Wee Wee fashion that will have you chaining a bunch of enemies, wearing a certain type of brand, and taking a quiz about stuff you definitely never paid attention to, to get to the next part of the map where you'll use one of your character's powers on an unsuspecting person to solve their problems, hoping to unlock more of your MySpace page to receive new perks and powers, or just turn back time to complete your objective as you manipulate fate and others' wills for your own benefit in a display of all-corrupting power until you get sidetracked shopping and eating like you actually would in Shibuya. Because if there's something more important than playing God, it's making sure you're eating an entire tuna head. Charge into the pin-based combat of Toy Wee Wee, where you'll unleash deadly combos against hordes of Ed Hardy animals with attacks that are simply mapped to a button instead of requiring you to memorize an ancient rune as you learn each character's pins and their individual QTEs that will have you swapping between party members like a cocaine-addled ghost and powering through all but the toughest battles by rolling your face across your switch in a unique combat mechanic that gives the usual button mashing of this genre some variety for true action gamers and gives everyone else dyslexia. So pick up those pins and get ready to get into the groove in a competent successor that sacrifices a bit of its uniqueness for being an actually playable video game and gives you exactly what you wanted if you're someone that cares about this series. Nomura turning everything into a fashion show. Starring Twa Wee Wee Roxas, One Backstreet Boy, Fujoshi, Mathley Ansem, Beatos by Dre, Kigu Lulu, John Cena, Disassociating Nomine, Water Nerd, Channeling 90s Christina Aguilera, The Guy That Won't Shut Up About His Trip to Europe, Liquid Shiba, and Just Straight Up Sora, Kingdom Hearts 3, Tokyo Controller Drift. You know the one thing they really got right? The music, because this soundtrack slaps like it's 2007, and I still don't have a frontal lobe. That's not so bad, right? Tell us what you'd like to hear in my epic voice in the comments below. He's made of yeast, plays altered beast, traveling man, traveling Dan. Nothing will beat turn-based combat. Don't sweat the petty things, and don't pet the sweaty things. Only when a mosquito lands on your balls will you truly understand the meaning of solving a problem without violence. I am a god of hyperbole.